I take the post to people's houses every day Unless I feel a bit fed up And then I sling the lot away It was a sunny day in Greenvale In the fields the birds sang and the sheep looked for shade George Wellington, the farmer, was showing Mrs. Thomas his equipment. But that's another story. Postman Pete had driven down all the country lanes, carefully avoiding the town just in case he ran into Constable Pickles. Pete's road tax was way out of date, and his tires were as bald as Reverend Tom's head. Hello, Pete, said Granny Wisdom. Would you like to come inside for some lemonade and some of my gingerbread, men? Pete smiled. No, thank you, Granny Wisdom. Not after that last log you gave me. I was ill for days. Granny Wisdom laughed because her hearing aid battery had run flat. <laughs> uh, I've got a letter for you, said Pete. Just gone three o'clock. He patted that old biddy. Pete rolled his eyes. Just a minute, continued Granny Wisdom. This letter's got a January postmark, and it's nearly July. <laughs> That's the post office for you, replied Pete with a strange shrug of his shoulder. Granny Wisdom looked around for Tess. Where's your lovely black and white cat these days? She asked. Uh, he's outside guarding my van, chortled Pete. Oh, I nearly forgot. I've got a parcel of glassware for you. Listen. It was a stupid thing to put a sticker marked fragile on it, wasn't it? Pete laughed. Just then, Fred Ben ambled up. Uh, hello, Pete, said Fred. I I've just run over your cat. Not to worry, joked Pete. I've always wanted a Davy Crockett hat. <laughs> Are they all right? Anyway, continued Fred Ben. Uh, any sign of my postal order yet? Afraid not, replied Pete. But that's the post office for you. Well, that's the eighth postal order that's gone missing, said Fred anxiously. Pete shrugged. Lucky they were sent in registered envelopes. How did you know that? inquired Fred. Lucky guess, replied Pete. <laughs> anyway, Fred, I've got another one of your parcels in a plain brown wrapper from Randy Man's Supplies. <laughs> Judging by the weight, the batteries are already in it. Fred Ben's cheeks flushed. Granny Wisdom looked over her glasses at him and invited him in for tea. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pete, they said. See you tomorrow. My name is Pete. I take the post to people's houses every day. Unless I feel a bit fed up and then I sling the lot away. I got a letter clearly marked Caution photos do not bend I wrote across it, yes they do And just to prove it folded them I'm Postman Pete, Postman Pete I visit ladies down the street And when they call, I never fail I really am a first class man